Hello, Michael here with the RPG Academy podcast Twitch channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing some mini painting. Uh, I'm not good at this, so I just want to be very clear up at the top that this is not about me teaching anyone else how to do this. This is just about me, you know, wanting to paint some and hanging out with people. Uh, this is kind of also a test of my setup because I'm doing things obviously a little bit differently than in other cases. Um, just seeing how well it works. So let's, uh, let's get rid of me because no one needs to see me. And this is going to be my paint area. So hopefully I'm going to be playing around with it, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out a place so that you will be able to see the mini most of the time. And um, so yeah, we'll just try it out. Hopefully if anybody is watching now or in the future can give me some feedback on uh, some improvements, I'd be happy to try to make things better. Uh, so to start with, I wanted to show off a, a mini that I painted yesterday. There we go. Uh, so I'm painting the minis from the Marvel United Kickstarter that um, the base set has been released in retail stores, The but the like the, big expansions, all that stuff should be here later this month. So this is the first one I decided to do, which was Hulk. And uh, I thought he would be probably the easiest to do because he's basically just a couple colors, green and purple, and then a little bit of black for the hair and just a little bit of red in the mouth. Again, still trying to figure out how to make sure this works. Uh, and I'm like super happy with this. I, you know, I can see issues with it. And I'm sure those of you out there who are good at this or, you know, more experienced could probably pick it apart. But as far as just putting this on the table when I play this game with my kids, that's pretty much all I'm going for. So th that's kind of an example of the level of painting that I'm hoping to get to. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do today, I'm going to put a primer coat on two new minis, and then I'm going to start painting one that I primed yesterday. Uh, so this is the primer I use. Uh, again, I went online and did, did some like really quick Googling. I think I watched like two videos on mini painting to get started. And this was referenced in one of them. So that's what I've got. It, this is just a gray primer. Uh, I've, you know, I've painted 30, 40 minis at this part point and probably, uh, you know, I doubt I've used 10% of this bottle. Uh, so I'm just gonna squirt a little bit here into my paint holder. All right, and then the mini I'm going to be priming first is the Captain America mini from this game. Uh, the zoom's a little bit wonky here, but uh, basically classic cap, shield on the left arm. Looks like you might be about to throw it. Uh, the base is pretty standard. There's not a lot of excitement to that. Uh, so when I prime, I, I do kind of a quick and dirty prime, I guess. I, I'm not super concerned. I just want to get coverage. The primer makes sure that the other paint stays on it. Um, I mean, I don't want like huge globs or anything, but for the most part, I'm kind of sloppy with it. Uh, so I like to use kind of a wide brush uh, for um, priming. So I'm going to use this brush to start with. And uh, I'll probably move to something smaller once I'm getting closer to being done. So. Got a little bit of water. Just make sure my blush, brush is good and pliable. There we go. And we just dip a little paint. And then, yeah, we just kind of go to town on it. I like to do these really long back and forth strokes. Try to get into the grooves as much as I can. So again, I'm trying to figure out where the best place to hold this is so that you can see what's going on as well. Hey, Foxblade. How are you doing today, sir? I don't do a whole lot with the bases. Like I'm really, that's like the last thing I do. And 
mostly because I don't think I do do them very well. Not that I do any of this very well, but I think the bases are something I struggle with like the most. So I'll probably just pick like one or two colors and just get it done. But I do want to make sure that I uh, um, get it covered. So I just heard the notification that somebody um, followed, but I can't. I didn't see it because I didn't set up the uh, the Twitch alert on this one. So my apologies, uh, someone either followed or subscribed. Uh, when I get a chance to see that, I'll give you a shout out then, but thank you. All right, so that's looking pretty good, again, for my purposes. Uh, so I'm gonna take a different brush, a smaller one, and then just kind of go back over. This will help get out if I got globs anywhere, because again, we don't want big globs, because uh, that'll hurt the, uh, uh, the detail. Oh, just got another Twitch alert. So again, thank you. I'm, I'm so sorry that I forgot to set that up. Uh, but again, that's part of this process is this is sort of a test run. So I will definitely get that fixed before my next one. I'm thinking that more than likely what I'm going to do is do this uh, probably on Sunday mornings. I generally have the house to myself on Sundays. So the wife and kids are out. Of, out. Uh, she goes to her mom's, and uh, so I don't have to worry about, you know, the kids being around. Uh, that's usually when I catch up on a lot of my other uh, projects like editing or watching the latest small bill for my Farm to Fable podcast or, you know, whatever. But uh, I'm only thinking these, you know, painting things will probably be like half an hour or something. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. So. That's the plan anyways. All right, so. Uh, so again, once, because there's like, there might be a couple other people watching. Um, this is in no means an instructional video. Um, I mean, I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing as I'm going, but I am absolutely a beginner or maybe might even call me a filthy casual. Uh, which is actually why I chose the name Casual Mini Painting with Michael, because I wanted to get that very clear that uh, I'm not trying to teach anybody how to do anything. Other than, I will say that I kind of am, am approaching mini painting like I approach uh, GME. That if you're having fun, you're doing it right. So the only thing I'm really bringing to the table here is my unbridled childlike enthusiasm that uh, just start doing it. Because it is kind of fun. I actually am quite enjoying doing this. I'm in no way good. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um, Kirby Ninja has mentioned that my camera is auto zooming, which is causing a lot of problems. Uh, definitely something I need to look into. Don't have any idea how to fix that, but I will try to look into it before next time. Uh, but yeah, I think that for the most part, I'm happy with that coverage as far as uh, priming goes. So we'll set that aside and then we'll, I have one more I want to prime today. This one's the Captain Marvel. Again, these are all from the uh, Marvel United uh, board game. I think Spin Master did it. I got it through the Kickstarter. Uh, yeah, I, and again, I'm very ignorant of all this stuff. Um, but no, I will definitely look into the autofocus. I don't know if that's something I can address, but I agree that if I, if I can, I should. Um, so I will do what I can before next time. And I may end up moving the camera anyways. Like I, I did some yesterday just to kind of see, you know, before I went live streaming and, uh, I couldn't find a good camera setup. Like part of I wanted the camera down, like on the table, like shooting horizontal and uh, that didn't work very well either. So this sort of top down seems to be the best. I'm thinking about putting it over my shoulder so it's kind of looking down. So you'd be looking down like over my shoulder, but then I move a lot. So uh, yeah, but again, I appreciate the feedback. Absolutely, Scurvy Ninja and thank you also D20 Future Show. Uh, I, I assume there will be changes made as I move forward. But uh, just please bear with me. But I appreciate you both hanging out. Uh, it's nice of you to, to drop in for a little bit.
uh, again, just to re, 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 repeat. I'm very, very, very much new at this, painting minis in general, and uh, I'm not expecting to teach anybody anything, just uh, kind of hang out for a little bit while I'm doing it. So again, I'm just priming, just kind of get a base coat everywhere, all the little grooves, so that when I go back with the actual paint, I'll be able to uh, get coverage, but I don't want any big splotches left behind because um, that'll hurt the the detail part not that i'm probably going to do a lot of that anyways because that's not where i'm really good at um but i do want to get better you know that's part of this as well i figure the more you do it you're going to get better incrementally if nothing else uh, you know learn from your mistakes So I thought about that as well, about having a second second camera set up. Um, I'm currently, uh, this is all going through my laptop. Hi. So I don't have a good way to have another camera that's not that camera, and then it would just be the side of my head. Uh, so that's another thing I, I can look into. I just, I really don't know that I have a good solution for that. Plus, I've been told I have a face for radio, so I don't know that many people want to see my face, but uh, I get from a, you know, just a connectivity sort of sit standpoint, it's nice to actually be able to see. Um, so again, all I'm doing here is I've used the bigger brush to kind of get the primer everywhere, and now I'm using the smaller brush just to go back over it. And this actually is more like it's vacuuming, so I'm not really putting more primer on. I'm actually taking it off, uh, trying to take it off anywhere it's gathered too thickly in some of the grooves and such. Um, though that in itself will actually add some texture when you go to paint and especially when you do your final wash. Uh, it's probably not the texture the mini designer or the mini uh, crafter was going for, but it will actually, you know, add something to it. Okay. Yeah, so I think that one, I think that one's also good to go. All right, so the first mini I'm actually going to start on today, and I, you know, I'll probably be lucky to get a full first coat, is I'm going to do Red Skull. So in the Marvel United minis game, all the heroes are a base blue color, and all the villains are a base red color, which I probably could have just not primed his head and left it that color, and it would have been fine because you know he is after all the Red Skull. But uh, I went ahead and just primed everything because I just, yeah, I'll paint it anyways. But he's a very sort of simple color scheme. He, obviously, bright, right, whoop, bright red head. And then this uh, jacket he has on is like an army jacket. So I'm going to make it sort of a dark green. He's got a, a belt with a buckle, a couple straps, maybe pockets. And then, you know, pants and shoes. And he's standing on what looks like uh, like a rocky terrain. So I'm thinking this should be a fairly easy mini to paint. Um, we will we will see if I will regret those words later. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with the coat or this jacket, and uh, I've decided to go with Crypt Wrath color. Uh, so all the paints I'm using are the Army Painter paint sets, um, just because they were easy to get. Um, I know there's a lot of people who have like brand loyalty. I don't in particular, other than I was able to go on Amazon and just buy like a the War Painter starter kit, and I got a bunch of paints, uh, a couple washes, some brushes, and that's pretty much what I'm using. I did go out and buy a couple extra brushes uh, just so I would have plenty of these. I got like I don't know, like 50 of these in a pack off Amazon or something. Uh, I'm sure there are better brushes than I have, but I don't know how to use them well enough to justify it. It'd be like me owning like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. 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 I'm never going to get enough out of it to justify me owning, owning something like that. Uh, not to say that these brushes or these paints are bad. I just, I don't know. <laughs> and also, uh, I moved a while back and these paints were put up for a long time and I haven't been using them. So some of them had gotten a little sticky and thick and I was squeezing one yesterday and you can see all this 
that's where I was squeezing it and then the cap came off and gray paint just went everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid doing that today. Though it probably would make for more interesting TV. Right. Now the one thing that pretty much every video that I did check out before I started uh, said over and over and over again is that you should thin your paints. And I've actually not had a ton of luck thinning paints, but universally everyone said you should. So I still do. So I got a little beaker here, a little dropper, and I'm just going to add just a little drop of water. And then I have uh, an old brush that the, the bristles got really bad on. So I just cut off the top and I use that as a paint stirrer. All right, so this is the green color we're going to actually paint our jacket with. So we're going to start there. No, oh, actually, I got to put on my headgear. So I have one of these, uh, like, doohickeys again, bought off Amazon. I know Amazon's a horrible company, but they're just so darn convenient. Uh, I also have bad eyesight anyways, so I pretty much would need something like this uh, no matter what. So just a quick look. Hi! All right, so again, I'm gonna to try to get this where you can see it and that I can see it at the same time. So I'm definitely gonna be doing multiple coats. So I, I'm not super worried about coverage as far as like, you know, it's, it's gonna look, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna paint that too. It's gonna to look different after the third or fourth coat anyways. Because this looks, and I'm also covering red. I have to imagine that's probably not the easiest thing in the world. And I'm not going to be too worried about like covering up things. I'm going to paint a different color later, like the pockets and the belt. I mean, I'm not going to intentionally cover them, but I'm also going to not intentionally <clears throat> not cover them. So I live in like the podunk hills of uh, southeastern Kentucky these days. There used to be, when I lived in Cincinnati, uh, there were Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby, other craft stores. So it was a little bit easier to be able to get things like that. Um, I think the closest thing I have around right now is a Joanne Fabrics. And I doubt, actually, I don't know, they might carry brushes. Uh, but I am kind of stuck either going to a specialty store um, or... Again, going online for online options. There are a couple game stores around my area. And bef when I first moved here before COVID, I, you know, I went and checked a couple of them out. They were, you know, they were fine, but they weren't uh, very all-encompassing. Um, so I think either I'm going to have to, you know, continue to use online resources or wait till like if I go to Cincinnati for a day, check out some of those game stores. Uh, I did buy some things at Woodburn Games, which was sort of my, my local store when I was up there. Um, I, I like that store quite a bit. That's where we were doing our monthly one-shot RPG nights before I moved, which Tom was doing them, not me, but I was going and participating as best I could when I could. But uh, once uh, once the world is back to the way it hopefully will get to after enough people get the vaccine and we get COVID under control, hopefully we're going to go back to doing those one-shot nights there because those were quite a fun. So and then just to kind of restate my my goals here, I hope to get better as I go, 
but I mostly just want my minis just to have a good little bit of color on them when I take them to the table and actually play with them. And, because uh, I, do, I do think they just look better. Not that that really changes the game, but I mean, I'll be just be perfectly honest. Like, I think it already looks better. Like, if I were to play the game today and just set that on the table, I think it would already look cooler. Just because of this, you know, really terrible green watery coat of paint I have on the jacket. So, I kind of want to be like the Bob Ross of mini painting. If Bob Ross was actually bad at painting. Because it's all cool. You know, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to get green on his head. I'm going to get uh, red on his jacket. But a lot of this, you really won't be able to tell from like game space. Like if this was sitting on the table and we were playing the game, you're not going to, well, you're not really going to be able to, to notice all the mistakes. It's going to look kind of like, well, he's got a green coat, he's got a red head, got some black pants. Um, so the expectations I have and my goals are pretty, pretty moderate, I would say. So I'm doing my best to try to get to the point where where I'm holding it so that I can see it is in camera, which I think I'm doing okay at, but I don't know how well the camera is actually picking up what I'm doing. But I don't know how to fix that even if I could move my camera around because I'm constantly moving the mini so that I can get different angles. If I had like maybe Google Glasses sort of thing, like a camera on my face so that you could see what I'm seeing, but... Uh, I have no idea how to do that or how expensive it would be. So if I win the lottery, I'll look into that. If there are any uh, multi-million dollar uh, patrons out there who just want to supplement my mini painting, I accept PayPal. Does Red Skull have red hands? Is it just his skull that's red, or is it like his entire body? Because I might just uh, paint his hands red and call it a day. Okay. I'm just trying to get this sleeve here. And I, again, I know my strokes are pretty amateurish, but I have found that if I can put like a pinky or another finger um, to help steady when I am trying to be precise, it does absolutely help. And this uh, little handle thing here I got, this is a Citadel holder. Uh, you know, much like probably most people who started, I was trying not to use them to start with. And uh, I was getting cramps in my fingers trying to hold them. Uh, and I would drop them quite a lot. And then, you know, dropping a wet mini into your lap means you got paint on your pants. So I'm actually using this, uh, I got this cool apron. And by cool, I mean not cool, but uh, it works very well for this. So basically it's a cooking apron that my wife got super, super cheap. And then I just turned it inside out. So I'm, I guess I'm starting a second coat here. I'm going to kind of go back over where I've been. Uh, maybe this is just like a an extra special first coat. Because I'm going to switch colors in a second. I'm going to go over his head and his hands in red. And that will probably be about it for the day. I wanted to keep this to about half an hour. We're getting kind of close to that. I did like a five-minute intro with things. So we got like five, six minutes left. But... Like I said, mostly this was a kind of a test to see how it goes, if anybody was watching, get some feedback on how I can improve for next time. But yeah, like I'm really happy with that. I think it looks cool. Eventually I'm going to do a, um, 
a play of a playthrough of the game with my kids and try to get that recorded for our channel. Yeah, some of this detail here is probably going to get lost by my uh, inexperience. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that detail to bring out, but we'll see. I'll do what I can. He may wear uh, gloves. I, I might got go to some some comics for some reference. There's a picture of him on the the game manual, but it's like mostly just his head. I don't think it really has a lot of his body. Um, but yeah, black gloves should be pretty easy, you know. So I might keep it red for now and then go back. Okay. So does that look like Red Skull wearing a green jacket? I think so. A little bit more. So I don't have a, I think what's called a wet palette. And it's a thing you can buy or you, there's lots of tutorials online to make your own using just like a sponge and like a plastic container, a Tupperware container. And the biggest benefit that from what I could see with those is it allows your paints to last longer without drying out. I don't have one of those. So I try to not put a whole lot of paint out when I use it. And then I try to get as much use out of it as I can so I don't waste any. So generally speaking, what I'll do is I'll try to paint with just a couple of colors at a time and then I'll go back and forth. So I'll put red on, I'll put it on his head and then I'll go back to green and probably do another coat of green so that I don't waste it. And if I do end up wasting it, not wasting a whole lot. Oh. Sorry, got it out of frame there for a second. It looks like I missed the back of his arm here. There we go. So what I've <clears throat> done in the past, <clears throat> excuse me, normally when I'm painting minis, like not on stream, uh, which is every time before now, is um, I usually listen to like, music or podcasts. I'll just uh, put something on, paint for like an hour, and just sort of like, you know, really relax, really chill. Again, kind of that Bob Ross vibe that uh, not going for perfection, just going for cool. And I think that looks pretty cool. All right. So I'll put that there for now. So clean my brush. Uh, wash it in some uh, water. And then we're just going to use pure red for his head because that kind of seems to make the most sense. Give it a quick shake. Uh, it's not going to take much at all, so I'm going to try to put just a dollop in there. Oops. You can see that's all I put in there. And I'm actually not going to water this one down. I'm going to try it without it just to see how that goes. So when you don't water it at all, it definitely coats a lot better. Uh, but you also, again, you're going to lose detail because it's going to be thick in the crevices. So you're going to lose, again, detail over that. But uh, with his face, I'm not too worried about it because really the only thing I'm losing is the eyes and the mouth. And uh, painting eyes and mouths is really hard. So I may not do that. I may just leave it like that. And again, I don't if it's because I don't know what I'm doing or just the brushes I'm using, but I sometimes will 
um, have to like touch up my brushes like with my fingers and kind of like spin them to try to get them to like a sharper point or some of this. Yeah, so like my, basically the brush is like set on separating. You can kind of see it, so it's like forking. So I'm just gonna give it a little spin. See if that'll help at least for a little bit. It's already coming down again. It's funny as I did that specifically to get the back of his neck and then I didn't do the back of his neck right after I did that and then it came loose. All right. Um, yeah, so just a quick reminder that uh, normally on Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I stream video games. Uh, I'm currently playing through uh, Dragon Warrior 2 on the original Nintendo. And so I will be doing that again at 1 o'clock today, roughly. Uh, so this is your first time hanging out because I'm painting minis. That's totally cool. You're welcome to just watch while I paint minis. Um, but hopefully you'll check out some of the other stuff we do on our channel. Um, so I play video games a couple days during the week, and then in the evenings, sometimes we play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm running the 13th Age game, which is a lot like Dungeons and Dragons if you have no idea what, you know, role-playing games are, but it's not the same game if you do know about role-playing games. Uh, and this week on Wednesday is Tom running his 5e, so that's 5e Dungeons and Dragons, Ghosts of Saltmarsh game. And we're also going to be announcing uh, who won our first giveaway um, on Wednesday during his stream. So we, we've been trying to get to 500 followers for what seems like five years. Uh, we've just got there. And so we're going to give away a copy of the D&D Rules Cyclopedia. Um, I use a brush cleaner. Uh, well, I think it's more of a brush keeper. So it's this stuff. The Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. So once I'm done... With the painting, I'll clean them really good with water, paper towel, water, paper towel a couple times. And then once they're dry, I'll put a little bit of this on there and um, and then kind of reshape them with my fingers into the where I want them to be uh, before I put up the brushes up. All right, so there we go. So we got uh, pretty much a base coat on the jacket and the, his face. I'm gonna have to do obviously some more with that. But uh, again, for my purposes, I would call that done for right now. If I wanted to go play the game, it's, um, I think, it, you know, again, it looks better than it did, and I'm happy with it so far. Um, so thank you, everybody, for hanging out for a few minutes. Um, again, this was mostly kind of a test to see if the setup would work and, you know, if anybody would want to watch and hang out. Uh, so I'm going to try to work on things to improve them. There were some suggestions that came through. Um, you know, about trying to get the camera from auto zooming. I don't know if that's anything that I can do uh, with my setup, but I will see. I use a Mac and I know Windows and Macs don't always play the same when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, again, no promises, but I will definitely try to do uh, something better. But I hope you enjoyed it. This is, again, this very casual, very chill, just uh, me painting some minis and chatting a little bit. Probably this is going to become like a Sunday morning type thing that I do every week, like like 11 a.m. for like an hour. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a couple more this week, just sort of test it out, uh, testing new settings and just see how things go. But uh, I think that'll do it for now. Thank you, everybody, very much for hanging out with me. Uh, Some key, Foxblade, you're some of the regulars. I really appreciate you jumping in. And then Scurvy Ninja, D20 Future Show, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I think you were probably the two that followed because I got two new followers today, but I didn't set up that Twitch alert, so I didn't see who it was, so my apologies. But uh, thanks, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.